Hello guys, um, these lessons come as part of my software. You can purchase it down there. I put a link in the description, flashbrainanatomy.com. My software includes much more than just animated lessons. It includes also a 3D interactive anatomy. And I guarantee you, you with my software, you can learn in air anatomy in just two weeks. Okay, now I will talk about the cell development because this is precisely neuroanatomy. I will just talk about it very, very fast and quick. I will give you a quick overview. So before you watch this video, you should understand what the neural tube is. And there are videos that c come with my software that you can watch and you can learn first about the neural tube. And then you can come and watch this video so you will understand better uh, which cells are developed from which cells and how they where is the origin and so on so first we have the neural tube it looks kind of something like this okay okay so hey, over here on the inner side of the neural tube you can find the narrow epithelial cells so those are the cells out of which many many uh, other cells develop so first we have the narrow epithelial cells that looks something like this okay and it has the nucleus here then out of the narrow epithelial cells we have the neuroblasts developed they are pretty much round and the nucleus is in the center we also have the ependymal cells we also have the ependymal cells here which look something like this okay and here is the nucleus these ependymal cells cover the, the the ventricles and with the cerebrospinal fluid fill the space. We also have the glioblasts developed from the narrow epithelial cells. And the glioblasts looks something like this, okay? To learn more about the cells from the peripheral nervous system, you should check out my website and purchase my software, flashbrainanatomy.com. If you're not going to purchase my software, then at least make sure you like, comment, or subscribe. Then further, the neuroblasts differentiate to neurons. And, of course, the neurons have dendrites and uh, axons. I will just say that here is the axon the axon terminal at the end. So those are the neuroblasts that develop to neurons. And... Those were the glia cells, and the glia cells can develop further to astrocytes and the oligodendrocytes. The astrocytes look somewhat like a star, okay? And they give the support to many other cells in the central nervous system. Then we had the oligodendrocytes, and the oligodendrocytes look okay, something like this. The function of the oligodendrocytes is to insulate the axon and support the axon, electrically insulate the axon, which means it increases the speed of the transmission of the action potential. Uh, it does not increase the speed, but the rate is less, so you need less uh, action potentials and depolarization to happen on the same path in the same distance you know so practically it increases the speed of transmitting the signal and these cells that I just explained are in the central nervous system and in the peripheral nervous system we have the Schwann cells and they perform the same function as the oligodendrocytes to learn more about the cells from the peripheral nervous system you should check out my website and purchase my software flashbrainanatomy.com if you're not going to purchase my software, then at least make sure you like, comment, or subscribe.